Let's go. Let's go. Why don't you take off running, buddy? Why don't you jog a little bit and see what... Oh, no need. <laughs> They're acting so weird right now, my little fainers. All of our babies are acting so strange. Come on. Ooh, pickles, let's go. Get her, go. Come on. Come on, Gus, Gus. Come on, Ziggy. Watch out, Ziggy's coming. Oh, boy. <laughs> Come on, hero. Come on, hero. Come on, baby. You know, he, he's, he's just a little special. <laughs> He'll figure it out. Yeah, he's a little... Come on, baby. Hero. Oh my goodness, Gus. Go get Hero, Gus, Gus. What's he doing? I think he's trying to get Hero. So the other night when I came out, and I think it was when the bigs got out, I couldn't find them and I was afraid something could happen. They like to lay in this little structure here. He's what's what's what are you upset about? Gus Gus, what's going on with him? What is he? Gus Gus, what's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, now they're running back. That's not what we I think they're trying to stay warm, but being it's, guys, it's like 30 degrees out here. It is like 37. 37, something like that. It's in the 30s or the at, at the absolute highest is like 42, 44. I mean, probably not even then. And we're out here because we uh, we seen some dogs on our camera, so we came out here to fire a shot and just assess the situation and make sure everybody's okay, which they are. Pickles is gone. Poor is weather. Much for you, Hero, come on, buddy. What are you doing over there? Pick him up. You goofy goober. What are you doing, Hero, what's going on over here? Why are you by yourself? Whoa, look at the zoomies. We got the zoomies over here, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. They all got the zoomies. They're acting so strange. They're acting so strange, you guys. Damn, this is strange. Like, what is Pickles? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know Gus could move like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're all being so weird. I love this. They're so happy. Gus, Gus. I've never heard him make that noise one before. Them, one of them is going to faint on the thing. One of them is going to be running and freak the other one out and faint. Go, Piccadilly. Lulu's the only one who's like, I don't know what. She's like, come on, guys. Let's go get warm in the barn with the hay. What are y'all doing out here? Let's go. Let's go huddle up. Oh, there's Lulu. Hi. Oh, you're... Your body's warm. Hey, little Hey, woo woo. Oh, her belly's nice and warm. All right, <laughs> come on, guys, let's go. Hero, we need to go, baby. It's cold out here. Come on, Hero. No, Dad, we're gonna go. No, we're not going to Grace, Hero. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hero, we're not going grazing. Come on, Hero. Come on. What are you doing? Oh gosh, are you okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Careful, guys. <laughs> Gus Gus, I've never seen Gus Gus behave this way before. What is going on, y'all? Yeah, is your leg okay, Bambi? I think it's she's fine. Yeah, she's oh fine. my god. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Gus. Gus Gus, I never like, make, like guys. Let's go. I never knew. We never knew we could move like that. Wait, really? <laughs> Come well, on. What are Weta's like, I'm done, guys. Where is she? She's underneath here. Oh, Lulu, you just bumped into me. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on, hero. Come on, hero. Guys, that was so funny, wasn't it? The late night shenanigans. I want, you need to be nice. That wasn't very nice at all. Hey, Ziggy. There's old Ziggy Smalls. Hey, bud. Let me close this gate right quick. Make sure we don't got any escapers. And now it's time to show our baby some love. Hey, Lulu. Hey, Miss Pickles. Miss Pickles has been extra sweet lately. I'm not sure what it is, but I like it. Ziggy. Old Gus Gus. I'll never forget what you did for the good boy, little hero, the other night. 
<laughs> hey hero guys right here though i got some really cool things to show y'all look how much green we have look at this green patch right here this is what we planted oh man i couldn't be more happy i couldn't be more proud of us we haven't even had that much rain and it's still been growing a little bit just imagine when we get a few good rains what'll happen it's gonna be awesome that's one spot let me uh let me take you guys to some other spots real quick hey zig I think he's following me around like he's hungry or something like that. Let me take y'all to some other spots real fast. Show you just how good the grass is growing. I think, I don't remember when the last time I updated y'all on how it looks was. I think it was maybe the first day or two when we first noticed. But yeah, look right here. This is what Meg calls the beach because there's so much sand and no grass. It's practically the beach. Look at all that, look at all that. Oh man, this is without any rain. So just imagine if we started getting some good rains, what would happen? We got some right here, we got some right here. You can just see certain areas. There's okie dokie, hey buddy. How's it going okie dokie? Why is your chin wet? I don't wanna know, don't tell me. Hey buddy. Old tiny Timmy. Hey baby. Everybody's following daddy, wondering what's going on. Guys, I just came out here to say hi. There's nothing in particular, nothing new or anything like that. We're just hanging out. I was just showing our audience the new grass that's growing, how happy I am with it, and how there are ways if you persevere and you think hard enough, you can even outsmart the smartest guineas that'll try to eat your seed and prevent the grass from growing. <laughs> I'm gonna go look near the uh, near the pond area. I actually haven't looked at the pond area as much. I don't go over there a whole lot, anyways. But uh, let me let's go look by the pond area, see if we have any green growing over there. Something else pretty cool happened a few days ago. Uh, Amanda, the lady who gave us the fainting goats, she actually was in town because she don't live around here but she just happened to be in town so she came by to visit and she wanted to see how the babies were doing and we had a really really good visit um the baby the fainting goats ran right up to her and i think whoa pickles that was not nice um they ran right up to her and i think that really warmed her heart because i know her and meg text back and forth a lot and she was worried about if the fainting goats would remember her and she was kind of sad and worried about it and Meg was like, no, with all the time you put into them like, and how much you love them, they're definitely going to remember you. And based on the way that Lulu and Pickles especially ran up to her, I definitely, I definitely think that they remembered her. And so I know that made her happy. She brought her husband along this time. The first time it was just her, but this time she came with her husband and he was really fun. He actually was, uh, he complimented just, you know, how the sanctuary looks and stuff like that. He said, man, you guys are doing an amazing job over here. This is awesome. And I was like, I appreciate it, my man. We, we definitely do our best. And we've, we've been blessed to have a lot of help in uh, being able to do what we do over here. And he's like, you know, man, that's what family's for. And so it was just a great visit. It was fun to have them. He actually wanted to take Lulu back. It was, I think he was really, really resisting the urge to snatch Lulu up and take her back home with them where they came from and amanda was like no honey you can't take lulu back this is her home now you can't separate her from the herd but he's like come on man there's just one baby or whatever and then you know, it was just it was silly it was um no but we enjoyed having them he um he gave me a clever tip for how to try to get the seed to get planted a little bit better i told him about what we did and he thought it was impressive but he suggested the idea of maybe dragging the pasture to create little lines in the ground. You throw the seed in the little rivets or whatever you'd call it. And then you kind of get, get something heavy to drag over it that will kind of bury the seed under the lines you've drawn in the ground as a good way to keep the, the guineas from getting it. And I, oh my goodness, guys, look right here. This wasn't here before. I think this is us. I think this is us right here, not all of it, but I think that a good portion of this is us is what we did a few days ago, especially like right here, the little patches, the little area. I think that I need to compare with the previous video to make sure, but I think this is us right here. A lot of this, this was not here before, I don't think, not all of it. Some of it was, I think, but not all of it. I think, and just, it kind of looks different, like, uh, especially like right here, like the grasses looks kind of, 
looks kind of different right here compared to, you know, say over there. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Either way, whether it is us or not us, I'm still proud of what we've done here with the grass. <laughs> Old Robbie, King Robbie, getting on, getting along. Gotta love it. All right, guys, Ziggy, it's time to eat. I'm gonna feed the littles, actually, because whenever I try to feed Ziggy, the littles have been known to steal his food and they're kind of mean to him. So I'm gonna pour out their food and then I'll just feed Ziggy individually. I've had the best success doing that lately. But alrighty, guys, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys wanna see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.